Sorry about that, just prizing a pop sock out my puppy's mouth. <laughs> Look at this lunatic. <laughs> I feel like me again. Sounds lethal, but gotta try it. Good morning everybody, me again. Welcome back to Xmedia X and another weekly vlog. You sort this bloody lens out again. Um, how are you? Happy Monday. I'm feeling a little bit better today. My antibiotics are kicking in, so hopefully I shouldn't have to take them for that long. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit better today, but I'm just so tired. Like I, I had probably about nine hours sleep and I could still sleep for nine more <laughs> like I just I can tell I'm not very well when I'm just when I just get super super tired and could actually fall asleep on the sofa <laughs> so um today editing no, a normal Monday uh editing the weekly vlog for you guys and what else am I doing uh, writing up a post about my bumble work so that will be nice and interesting and those of you who have been asking questions about it so I thought I'd pop a big post up um on xmillirex.com and also finalising my India blog, which has just taken forever. I don't know why, I've just had a bit of like writer's block with it. I think it's because we did so much. Um, it's sometimes very, very difficult to kind of put all that into words almost. And I massively overshot on the photos because it was just so beautiful. So I have had like thousands to go through, which has taken quite a while. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my Monday. <coughs> I'm going to take Toby out at some point for a W-A-L-K, he's now learnt that word so we won't say that too loud. Um, and yeah, I should probably go to the gym uh, with Lucy but I don't think I'm going to risk it today, I think I'm going to give myself one more day sort of like properly recovering, um, do a bit of gentle exercise walking and then get back into it tomorrow. So yeah exciting i have got a busy i've got a busy week ahead which i'm looking forward to i'm not going to lie to you there's a little part of me that's a little bit worried about putting up the vlog tomorrow because i know that somebody somewhere is gonna go oh are you a bad boyfriend or girlfriend no we had this remember with deck just a boyfriend if i said i was going on holiday with lucy you wouldn't go oh are you now a lesbian? You just wouldn't, would you? So just because a friend has a penis doesn't mean that I want to see it. <laughs> oh God. Oh, well, I'm gonna have faith in you guys. I'm gonna have faith that you are more mature and less nosy than that. Um, but yeah. To be fair, he looks lovely without a top on. Spotted him changing before and I'm gonna be in for a treat for a week, just put it that way, but no. <laughs> Not happening. Look at this lunatic! <laughs> You're crazy! <laughs> Decided to come out with Toby and Lucy and a couple of the dogs that she walks for a bit of fresh air because I'm starting to get cabin fever um, but I'm like bundled up like the Michelin man so I don't catch any more like illnesses. <laughs> Doggies are running off and chasing things in the forest. I've also got a nice cup of hot coffee to keep me warm. It's so cold! Hey team, it is uh, one o'clock in the morning <laughs> and I've just finished work, yay, so excited. Um, I've been watching the Santa Clarita diet thingy in the background, it's pretty grim, I'm not a big fan but I still keep watching it properly because it's just in the background while I'm doing my stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit wired now which is always the problem of working late. Well, this is like a new definition of working late, isn't it, one in the morning been a long day <laughs> so I'm just gonna switch off with this for a little while and then head to bed but yeah those of you who say that bloggers don't work hard <laughs> screw you <laughs> good morning everybody happy Tuesday it feels so much later in the week than Tuesday. Wow, my late night did not do me any favours. Well, it did, because I got all the work I needed to get done done for that day. But for me, <laughs> not good. Um, yeah, I feel like death today. So I have dropped my car off for its M18 service, which is gonna cost me a bloody fortune, so that will be great. Uh, and then I've come back. I went to Tesco and I picked up a, a cinnamon swirl and I've got a little coffee look on the go. It looks like the saddest pastry I've ever seen, but I just really needed something sweet uh, to get me through the morning. So I'm gonna have a quiet five minutes, enjoy my coffee, 
Uh, then I'm gonna jump in the shower, wash my hair, get ready for the day and crack on with more work. I'm still on my antibiotics um, for another three days, um, but I'm already starting to feel so much better. So that's giving me hope <laughs> that uh, we should be all all right for holiday, fingers crossed, because that would absolutely suck getting a water infection on holiday, but hey, it's me and my bladder, so probably will. <laughs> And I also, this morning, got a letter through the post from my doctor for my physio appointment. So I can officially go and book that, which is really great because um, they're going to sort of give me some um, a proper examination on my back and stuff, which is, which is brilliant. So I feel like we're moving in the right direction and everything is great, even though I feel like a zombie. <laughs> so, excellent news. Uh, my car's failed its MOT. <laughs> I... I was speechless. I genuinely did not think it was going to fail an MOT because um, it's the healthiest car I've ever bloody had. <laughs> so yeah, it failed on tyres and now it's going to cost me £250, which I don't have. <laughs> and yeah, really upsetting actually, really frustrating. It's just one of those things, isn't it? Toys always happen, so yeah, I'm just, should be ready in about five minutes, so I'm gonna go over and get it. Um, and then take this one out for a walk, because he's getting restless now. Oh, it's just, um, yeah, what are you doing? Oh, I'm supposed to be working on the kickboxing stuff tonight, but I just feel so exhausted. My water infection seems to have like come back with a vengeance, which is really frustrating because it was starting to feel a lot better. And then just this evening, it sort of like really kicked in and I'm feeling terrible. Um, so I'm going to see how I am in the morning. Uh, maybe do like a dip test and then I think I might phone push doctor and see if they think I need some like stronger antibiotics and the ones I've got because they're just sort of like bog standard ones. Oh, I don't want to be on antibiotics. I hate being on antibiotics. But I also don't want to have water infections. So, <laughs> oh, massively sucks. Anyway, uh, I'm just watching Gogglebox and eating some Ferrero Rochers because I really want chocolate and they're the only thing I've got in the house. If I'm going to eat chocolate, I tend to just eat um, like Cadbury's Dairy Milk or Cadbury's Fruit and Nut or something like that or Revels, they, they tend to be my go-to. I'm not a big chocolate person, loads of people ask me like do I not snack or what do I do if I want something sweet in the evening when I did my what I eat in a week video. I don't really tend to eat chocolate or sweet things really, I'm not a sweet person but when I'm not feeling well that's the time when I crave it so I couldn't be bothered to go to Tesco. So we're eating these, which are still left over from Christmas, which just goes to show I'm not a chocolate person. Morning everybody, happy Wednesday. Oh, I'm nice and blurry. It's like my brain at the moment. Um, today I'm going to Francesco's <laughs> to try and get my hair sorted once and for all. So I went back in last week to tone it down a little bit after we had like super grey stuff put in at the other salon. And I absolutely loved it, but then I started to wash it and they did warn me, they were like, now he did sort of like super bleach it, so if it starts to fade or go funny colour, come straight back to us and we'll fix it for you. And it did. It went like, started to go like a little bit greeny last week and yeah, I'm just really not happy with, I'm just not happy. So um, I phoned them up and I was like, guys, I'm in London. Is there anything you can do for me next week? And they were like, yeah, we'll get you in. We'll get you sorted. I love them. So uh, I'm going in today <laughs> to finally get it sorted. And I think we're just gonna go um, back warm or blonde because there is like a tiny bit of my natural color that's there. It kind of like goes natural and then into this dark kind of chocolatey brown, which is lovely, and then into the ashy. And you can just see, it's just not great. So. Um, I think I noticed it more when I wore it straight as well. So anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna come out with, <laughs> but I know that Francesca's gonna sort me out. Um, I'm thinking of just going like lighter all over, like blonder all over and warmer. So fingers crossed, it will look great. And this is the last time I have to sit in a salon for like a while, so it's sick of sitting there. Good little tip for Nespresso machines. Once you've done your coffee, release the pod 
um, and then put another espresso shot through into something else because that's what comes out of it still, even though you've released the pod. It just helps keep it clean so the next time you have a coffee, it tastes like that coffee and not like a mixture of all the ones you've had before. I know it's a bit anal, but <laughs> I want to look after it because I love it. I feel like me again. Um, Francesco have 100% saved the day. We've just gone back warm because it's a lot easier. I mean, not as warm as before, um, but a lot warmer than it was last week. We've really toned down the front bits because they were just sort of getting a bit crazy. <laughs> um, I mean, they're gonna fade out again at some point um, because it was like pure bleach on there. But um, yeah. I think it's going to look really great and they, they said that obviously I'm going away next week so the sunshine's going to help and bring it all out again. I just feel so much better. I think warm just suits me more um, than the cool did and yeah they've just, they've worked their magic. Genuinely I cannot rave about Francesco's enough. Um, they were just so good because obviously I went in last week and I paid for them to try and um, patch it and fix it. And then because I think it was too soon after the uh, other appointment, obviously it started to fade a little bit funny within a week, just called them up, went straight back in and they did all of this today for free. Um, and it's just, they're amazing. I love them. I love those girls. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it alone now for a little bit, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, yeah, see what the sunshine does to it next week. Give me a bit more of my blonde back. I just absolutely inhaled a quarter pound of meal from McDonald's in my car and I don't care at all. It was delicious and I'm very, very happy now, probably from all the sugar and the fat that's going through my veins. <laughs> this little parcel could not have come at a better time. So it's like National Sleep Awareness Week, I think, this week, which also coincides with me being super, super tired. Um, and this is a parcel from Ben and & Ox and they are, it's like a solution that you drink, I think. Um, before you go to bed and it helps you get a good night's sleep like it helps you stay asleep and it helps you have deeper sleep it's just like B vitamins and stuff and honey um, so I was like yeah this sounds really interesting I'll definitely try it because I really struggle with my sleep and they sent through this lovely little care package and it's got a little candle in which smells amazing lavender and geranium lovely some nice clipper nighttime tea chamomile lemon balm lavender Oh, that smells, that's, yeah, that sounds amazing. And this adorable mug, how cute is that? I woke up like this, yeah, it's really cute, I love it, and it will match all my other mugs. Oh, and there's something else, what's this? Space mask, oh, heated eye mask, oh yes, oh, do you know what? I might do some of this later. Tonight's my like, washing and tidying night, but oh, I could do with a bit of a pamper. Oh look, and you fill out like this little sleep diary. That's brilliant. Oh, I love this idea. Oh, thanks guys. Seriously, how cute is this mug? I love it. Oh my God. I'm going to use that for my next cup of tea. Had a shower, put some makeup on, feeling amazing with my snazzy new warm blonde hair. Uh, I'm gonna take the little doggo for, to the forest, I think, for a big, big run around because he's been on his own all morning. Um, I actually wrote two blog posts when I was in the hair salon. So I'm way ahead of schedule. Just need to put them all together when I get back. And yeah, everything's good. I always wear this jumper. I'm very aware. I got it from Primark. Just scrubbing around the door. I got it from Primark. It was like three pounds in the sale. And I just love it. It's super baggy, super cozy. And just nice because it's very cold outside. So yeah. Do you want to go for a walk? Oh, your ears pricked up then. Let's go. Go on. It's pop quiz time. And I'm excited even though it's a general knowledge quiz. And... I was about to say we're not very good at those, but I think we won the last one. Yeah, the last one was a general knowledge, and we won that one. Um, so that was really good. And it was uh, it was just me, Lucy, and Damien, her husband. And to be fair, normally it's Lucy and Damien that answers the questions, but we were pretty even last week, uh, which was really nice because it made me feel nice and useful being there. <laughs> um, there is a Harry Potter one that's going on next week, but because of the holiday, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss it. But Lucy's tempted to go on her own. <laughs> And I actually think she would win because she's got a super brain full of loads of Harry Potter knowledge. Be an expert on A farm animals, B flags, C fungi, or D fitness. Okay, maybe. I don't know. Let's go wider. 
<laughs> we don't know, oh no! How the mighty have fallen! And steaming on here at the moment with 278 points. We thought this was speed dating. Don't forget to join. We've got an evil world coming up next. Oh, that's where we lose it all. Oh, two more fires come up. One again. So what can you say? Just too good at this. <laughs> Good morning everybody! So we won the pub quiz last night, very exciting. It's just, we're just getting too good. <laughs> Kidding. We're useless. If it was a normal quiz, I don't think we'd win, but it's like, it's a um, kind of a, a, like a fastest finger first thing. And to be honest, Lucy and Damien have got some very obscure knowledge, like they just know films in and out and all that kind of stuff, so it's a film question, we know we've got it. Damien's really good on sport. Um, so he tends to get all the sport questions. <laughs> Anything alcohol related, I always seem to get. Any kind of like modern films, I'm pretty good on that. Um, Sciencey stuff, pretty good on that. We just have a good little kind of thing going. But yeah, we've, we've I think we worked out we won about 90 pounds worth of vouchers from these guys so far, which is pretty amazing. So yeah, it's quite fun. I found my new favourite coffee, which is that cosy one, but I've only got one um, strip of it because I got uh, the, someone bought me a discovery box, which was such a lovely gift um, because it's got like 250 capsules in of all the different flavours, so you can try them all out, which is amazing. It's going to keep you going forever. Um, but there's only one kind of thing of cosy in there, so like I'm saving. I find myself saving it. I don't know why. I'm like, if that's that's your favorite. I always do this. I've done this since I was a kid. If that's your favorite one, drink it. But I'm like, no, no, I must save it. I must save it. Weirdo, Amelia. Um, so yeah, I've got an arpeggio today or whatever the other purple one. Um, and I got bought an Easter egg. My very first Easter egg. Matt got me an Easter egg. Little white chocolate one. Very, very organised. I feel bad now because I haven't got him anything. It's like, we're away over Easter. We're going to be in the Dominican Republic in, on Easter weekend. It's like, why why would I get you an Easter egg? She's like, I don't know, just saw, saw it and I thought you might like it because I know you like white chocolate. It's like, okay, thanks. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll get you a shot of Mama Joanna, which is the uh, Dominican Republic national drink thing. Sounds lethal and also hideous as well. I think it's like red wine, red wine rum honey and herbs apparently it's a bit porty but um yeah sounds lethal but gotta try it such a random lunch i just really fancied tuna mayonnaise and salad um but i couldn't be bothered to bake a sweet potato because i'm being lazy so yeah just had it a whole tin of tuna on salad with half an avocado at least it's healthy Oh my goodness, it's half past five and I'm still in my pyjamas. <laughs> but I have finally finished the kickboxing stuff. It's taken me pretty much all day. Um, but yeah, I think it looks good. It's fine. It's just rendering now. Um, and I'm going to jump in the shower. Because um, Matt is having his car MOT today across the road. So I'm going to go and pick up his car for him. Because he's got mine for the day. It's all like, just helping each other out. Um, and then I'm going to take Toby for a walk. And then <laughs> I might actually sit down and uh, watch a bit of telly. I'm terrible. I've completed everything on my to-do list. So I'm really pleased about that. But now I'm thinking, hmm, it's only half five. Maybe I can do something else. And this is where it never ends for me because I just keep going and going and going. Um, yeah, I need to stop doing that. You know what I realized? I haven't put eyeshadow on for absolutely ages. And my eyes look crazy. <laughs> Because I'm just not used to seeing my face with it on. Weird. Um, so yeah, I'm popping out for a gin tonight because I need to get out of the house and I need to speak to an actual human and yeah, I just need a bit of in social interaction. So I'm like, can we just go out for a drink? Just one, just one. I just need to get out of the house. So yeah, I've put some washing on. I've got another load to do after that. Um, I'm just making some tea. I'm not really that hungry, but I know I'll be hungry later. So I'm having some of that leftover, some leftover pasta. Oh, Toby, you're trying to kill me. Hmm? Toby's looking very sorry for himself. Um, and it doesn't smell very nice. <laughs> so I'm worried that he might be not very well. Because, yeah, he ate some bread on the walk. There is someone who always leaves, like, an entire loaf of bread on our walk. And he now knows where it is. So as soon as I let him off, he just pelts towards it and like chomps down as much as he can before you get to him. 
and it's just really frustrating because it doesn't matter where in the park you let him off he'll just go straight to there so there's nothing you can do apart from never let him off which obviously I want to do because he enjoys running around and it knackers him out and he needs the exercise so yeah it's just really annoying like I didn't think you were supposed to feed birds bread anymore I thought it was or maybe that's just swans I don't know but it's just really freaking annoying because it's always there it's like a whole loaf of bread just dumped on the floor and it's like can you not just put it in your garden or something and then you can then you can watch the birds come and eat it that would be nice instead of a spaniel just like wolfing it down he always gets back and depending on how much he's eating he'll like sit there and he'll just be like all blown up like a balloon like someone who like failed their weight watchers and like demolished a cake shop that's him but with bread morning everybody happy friday <laughs> that was the least happy friday i think i've ever done oh i'm so tired look at my eyes oh i'm so tired i could not sleep last night i couldn't sleep because i was just too wired and i got in and there was something that needed to be done on this like video thing so i stayed up doing that and then i couldn't switch off afterwards i was just like wide awake until 2 a.m and if i had to get up early again today because I've got loads more to do, so yeah, sucks. Oh man, feel terrible. <laughs> Never mind, keep going. Three more days, and then I don't have to get up for anything apart from putting a towel on a sunbed. Um, yeah, and then I woke up to a message this morning to say that there's even more edits. I'm like, great, <laughs> brilliant. I love it, but I think it's like it's not Craig's fault. And you know, people do this all the time when they they don't edit videos. They don't realise just how much of a big job it is. So they just think, oh, it's just adding one little bit in, no problem. But you have to move everything across, stick it all in, re-render it, and this is like an hour and something video long video. So it takes about an hour and a half just to render it, and then another hour and a half to upload it. Yeah. It's not a quick job, <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. We'll get it done. It's for charity. It's for charity. It's for charity. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to crack on with this morning. Just get it out of the way and then I can sort of leave it doing its thing. Then um, I am going to start editing this weekly vlog, get the majority of it done. And then that means on Sunday night, I can just whack in any extra footage I've got from the weekend um, and set it uploading for you guys. So that should be done. And then I'm also filming some videos today. So I'm gonna film a current favorites video. Cause I have, I, I used to do them monthly and I used to find that I was really struggling to get uh, products to put in these videos because I had, just didn't use that many new video, uh, that many new products each month. So it was a bit, I'm trying to carry everything and film at the same time. It was a bit pointless really. So I stopped doing them monthly, but I realized that now I have actually got quite a few products that I'm using. So yeah, I thought I'd do one of those for you. Got some really interesting ones. So hopefully you'll like that. It's just a bit frustrating for me if I'm going to be completely honest because these weekly vlogs, you guys watch them every week and you love them and I love filming them and they're just really popular. They're great. If I film any other video, <laughs> Apart from a Primark haul, but even my last one sort of tanked a bit. If I film any other video, it just never seems to do very well at all. So, like, I had this conversation with Rosie before, that we just end up thinking, like, what's, what's the point? Like, we feel like we should be making all of these videos. And, like, one or two people ask us for these videos. So, you know, we don't want to disappoint you guys. We want to make what you want to watch. Ah! Right. You're oh, stealing socks off my thing. Ah, dead. One sec. Sorry about that. Just prizing a pop sock out my puppy's mouth. Pop sock. Is it calls them pop socks? All right, mum. Um, yeah. So we just kind of, you just kind of think, well, we're just making content for the sake of making sit downy content. When in reality, this channel has become more of a vlog channel, and that's what works. So I don't know. I'm gonna continue making them every now and again. <laughs> uh, and we'll see how we get, but if I get, it'd be nice to sort of get more views and more comments and just more interaction on those kind of videos really, because people ask for them and then no one watches them. <laughs> oh, right, I'm moving this washing. 
I have been given some vouchers and I've been umming and ahhing on what to spend them on for a while and I've decided I'm going to buy the Fitbit scales because they measure your body fat and everything it's not just um weight because obviously that's it's not good for you to measure weight because it can fluctuate so much and it doesn't give you an accurate representation put it that way so me and lucy at the moment we go to the gym and we spend a pound in this big old clunky machine um to do our weight and body fat and stuff and it's horrible because you have to do it in the middle of the change room it's really loud it like yells at you it's like please stand on the scales <laughs> and it's horrible we hate doing it so i've been looking at um scales i know there's a lot of cheaper ones out there that you can get that do the body fat thingy but the fitbit ones just look really nice everybody's raving about them like they never move in price because they're just solid scales and people have said that they had them for years and they work wonders and they automatically sync to your fitbit which is great and you can also have six users i think on there so basically both me and lucy can go on these scales no longer have to pay and go to the gym to weigh ourselves and um it will just take accurate readings and go straight into our fitbits so that is what i'm going to do today i need to get out have a bit of fresh air just sort of get myself in the headspace to film um and also pick up some food for later because lucy's coming over to film a video and matt's coming over to help so we're just all going to have like i don't know something to eat i need to make something and some wine and stuff so yeah i'm gonna head out i'm gonna go buy those and i'm gonna show you them when i get back and we can try and set them up together hello 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 um <clears throat> so i got caught <laughs> outside taking toby for a walk for absolutely ages because he was chasing a ball and we did some um recall training and whistle training all right loud um and he was just doing so well so i just stayed out with him for a little bit longer um because i thought i need him to be quiet later when we're all filming so i'm just gonna knacker him out anyway back now i'm gonna make a cottage pie for everyone tonight i've got all the ingredients everyone's coming around in about an hour so yeah i've just got to do a few last minute emails and a few bits and bobs for the kickboxing stuff which has come in late <laughs> we're all trying out the new fitbit scales very exciting very exciting because lucy's a fitbit user she can join in on mine is it recognising you? Oh, step off. That oh, symbol, step off and it will, off. it will tell you your magic. <laughs> <laughs> One at a time, please. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we're, we're full on set up, ready to go. Very exciting. But we were just watching the guacamole video. Guacamole. Guacamole. Why? I don't know. Oh, the Prosecco. What have you done to my dog? He looks so stylish. He looks fabulous. I know. Toby. You are, wow. Darling. Work it, darling. Work Amazing. It. Work those hips. <laughs> oh, my God, oh, this is so cute. <laughs> he's actually loving it. <laughs> like he's, uh, he's actually not bothered. Look at his tail. He's like, darling. <laughs> yes, darling, I look fabulous. So what are you going to do about it? We absolutely nailed it. That was such a good video. You were very good. It was your first time on YouTube as a proper city downy video. What's going on YouTube? It is. <gasps> I didn't sign that release. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give you permission to use my face on the internet. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, and I am so tired. I slept until, like, 11 o'clock, and I really, really needed the sleep because I could still sleep some more. But it's fine. Nearly holiday time. Just today and tomorrow to go, and then I can sleep, sleep, sleep all day in the sunshine, which would be really, really nice. <coughs> I feel like I'm coming down with a full-on cold. Which is typical, always happens to me just for holiday. Uh, if I don't get it before I go, I normally catch it on the plane. <laughs> but it's fine. It will be easier to deal with in the sunshine. Um, so today, uh, last night was really good. I managed to film everything I need to film with Lucy. She was brilliant. I ended up walking her home at like 1 a.m. <laughs> it was like one of those nights where you suddenly look at the clock and you're like, how is it? It's only like half eight. Brilliant. We're winning. And then suddenly it's 1 a.m. Oh, boom. So, um, yeah, that was all great. Need to pop into town today, get the currency um, for tips and stuff. And need to pay some stuff into the bank, just like boring tasks. And I was going to pop my head into Primark just to see if there was anything that I might like. Um, which I feel like is going to be a bad idea because I don't really have the money to spend loads. And that is when you always see everything that you need. So, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. I'm going to fake tan tonight. Exciting Saturday, really, to be honest. I don't know how you aren't all on the edge of your seats. We're doing oh, the. We're currently, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we're currently really? doing the squat your dog challenge. Go. <laughs> she looks so confused. 
I think you've got a harder job oh, than I have. I just need Toby to <laughs> Toby's like, what's going Jump on? Jump on, Toby. Jump on. Get involved. <laughs> Well, that was a typical Primark <laughs> Primark adventure. I ended up going in for a pair of 90p flip flops, which I got, and came out with a new bikini, which is actually quite nice. I struggled to find bikinis um, that suit me and fit me, so when I see them, I tend to buy them. But it's like this nude, kind of like geometric thingy my bobby, quite nice. Hopefully, that'll fit. I need to try it on now. Uh, these shorts. They were four pounds, thought they were quite cute to go down to breakfast in, just with a little t-shirt. Oh, the bikini was eight pounds in total, which is a bargain. Uh, this really cool skirt, I like it, but I'm not sure if it's gonna fit. It's because uh, it doesn't stretch at all. It's kind of like buttoned up down the middle and it's sort of midi length, I don't know. I just quite liked it. I thought it would look quite good with like a denim shirt tucked in. Uh, some sunglasses. Ta-da! You can never have too many sunglasses. And this play suit, which I can't show you. Let me put you down. Here you go. It's easy to show you this way. The skirt was £10 and this was £13. And it's really pretty. Look, it's like a v-neck. It's kind of got like bobbly bits there. Long fluty sleeves and then like little play suity shorts. I like it, really pretty. And like I said, it was only 13 quid, I thought it was a bargain. Hopefully it will fit. And I also got ooh, a new duvet set, which I thought was quite nice. Bullet focus, ta-da, very summery. And that was super cheap as well. It was a little bit rough, but I think once you put it through some fabric stuff, it'll be fine. And we got <laughs> a pizza slice inflatable to sit on in the pool. So I feel like that's an essential holiday. I've never, never cut anyone's hair before. Ugh, why are we so orange? Well, um, I fell asleep earlier <laughs> and I never nap, so I know that I'm not very well. So, fingers crossed, everything gets better, but I fell asleep for like an hour or whatever. And now I feel a little bit better for a bit more sleep. Um, but Matt wants me to cut his hair for him. You are very trusting. Uh-huh. <laughs> this could be a disaster. Morning everyone, it's last day before holiday, oh my goodness I can't believe I go tomorrow, crazy stuff. Um, and I've still got loads to do, I need to wash my hair, do my nails, my gel nails, um, need to drop Toby off. Um, he's going to my friend Wendy to look after for the week, he's having a little staycation. Um, so I need to drop him off there, I need to pack his bag, I need to clean the house really. Like, does anybody get the same? Like, you don't want to go, my mum used to do this when we, whenever we went on holiday and I'd be like, Mum, why are you cleaning the house? We're not even going to be here. And then now, I'm like, I need to clean the house because I want to come back to a clean house. So, just hoover, dust and like clean the bathroom and stuff and maybe change the bed sheets. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do all that. I've got loads of washing to put away. What else? There's so much more stuff. Oh, I need to go and pick up my prescription because I've got some extra and different antibiotics just in case um, my water infection comes back because it's kind of like on the verge. Like I've had all my other um, antibiotics. So I spoke to Push Doctor because um, I've like done a dip, dip test and it's kind of on the verge of sort of not completely gone away. So that she's given me some different ones to take um, if it comes back while I'm away. So I'm a little bit worried about that actually. I'm a little bit um, anxious that it might come back and I might be really ill while I'm away. But she's assured me that these should work, these second ones. So I'm going to pick those up. And um, I really needed to film another video for you guys. I just couldn't do it yesterday. I was absolutely exhausted. I even napped. I don't nap. Um, so... What I was thinking was, because I've literally just been in bed, like, flicking through on my phone, <laughs> and uh, I saw an advert for one of those makeup brush cleaners, and I realised that Lucy got me one for Christmas and I haven't used it yet. So what I might do is a non-edited video, um, just a one-take wonder, like I do for my Patreon guys, um, of my first impressions and first time using that, a little review of it, which I think will be really interesting. So, yeah, I'm going to do that and try and upload it tonight for you for next week we'll see so yeah lots and lots of detail i've got to pack <laughs> at some point uh so yeah i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and um crack on with the tidying and then see where the day goes oh i've also got to finish editing this upload it bugger i've got so much to do i've discovered that whenever you go near toby or he sees you coming he just rolls straight over onto his belly for a good old, and that tail starts wagging. You're such a fuss pot.
You are such a fuzzpot. Are you excited for your staycation? Are you excited for your little holiday? Are you excited for your little holiday at the hotel Are you excited for your holiday? He's like, no. At the moment, I'm just snoozing on the sofa. <laughs> you are so lazy. You're so lazy. Should we go on a nice big WALK today? Just me and you. Then give you a bath so you smell nice for Wendy. Wendy hasn't seen you since you were a little teeny tiny puppy. So exciting. Right. Oh my goodness, my hair looks like a photo of an explosion. Um, Lynn, what on earth have you done to your hair? It looks like a photo of an explosion. Uh, I have just finished filming that little uh, one take wonder video review of the spinny makeup brush cleaner thing that I got for Christmas. It's quite funny actually. I hope you like it. Um, it's just going to be the only, it was just the only way I could get one done for you on time. So hopefully you'll like it. And that, I don't know whether to pull it up tonight or next Sunday. Probably next Sunday because you're not going to have a weekly vlog next week. So yeah, hope you like it. Head over and watch it when it goes live. Uh, just out of breath and running around trying to get stuff done. So I'm going to take Toby out now. Uh, for a little walk. Uh, before the rain comes because it's been such a lovely day today. But now there's a big black cloud and it looks like it's going to trick it down. So yeah, I'm going to do that and then come back clean. Edit this, put those away, take Toby to Wendy, and then relax, hopefully, before about 7 pm. So, yeah, I might actually leave you guys here because I think this is going to be a long, rambly vlog anyway. But I really hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, don't forget to give it a giant thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I want to come and chat to you. I'll log on on Tuesday when I'm in the Dom Ref and I'll read all your comments and it'll be lovely for me to read them. So, yeah, leave me a comment this week. And I guess I'll catch up with you when I'm back. Hopefully a bit more tanned than this. <laughs> and a bit more relaxed. Yes, oh, look at those eye bags. And uh, fingers crossed my water infection completely goes away. And yeah, there's a lot of things going on in this head that I'm like worried about at the moment, if I'm honest. But I'm just going to try and go with the flow. And just everything will be fine. It will be good. And I'll have a nice relaxing break. And then I can come back fighting and ready. But there's loads of um, blog content going live this week and next. So if you go over to xmediarex.com, there are so many articles I've written. I say so many, but there's, there's quite a few interesting articles on there. Reviews, um, for like fitness stuff, beauty stuff. There's, there's quite a lot going on. So uh, if you like a good blog read, head on over to the blog. But are you going to say goodbye? See you in a week, everyone. Oh, is this where we're sitting? Okay. Say bye-bye then. Say see you in a week. See, I'm going on my holidays. <laughs> See you later, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Look at these little chicken legs. We can sell them to KFC for their chicken shortage. Well, make sure you're following on Instagram because I'll probably be on Instagram stories chatting shit after a few rums. <laughs> Do you like your gift? I made that especially for you. God, that makes me sound like a knob.